Okay, so what is compost? I know this might sound like a real basic question, but you would be surprised how many growers ask or show pictures of something they're putting in their vineyard that they're telling me is compost, and I'm telling them, no, this is not. And so compost is well-decomposed, stable organic matter and nutrients. And those nutrients are stable because they're bound up in the organic matter, and they are like a slow-release fertilizer over time. Um, also, you've heard of the term cation exchange capacity. That's your your soil's ability to hold on to those cations or nutrients that have a positive charge, like magnesium, potassium, um, you know, others, zinc, iron. Um, organic matter does increase your cation exchange capacity. Um, compost is it's produced in a pile, and when you're composting, you either have to do it yourself and know how to do it right, or you need to buy it from a producer that is doing it professionally. It's produced most commonly in a windrow, and it's it's like a six to ten month process to completely finish a compost. Can it be done faster? Yes, if you turn the pile more and incorporate water and moisture and have a very controlled environment, you can turn over your compost uh, into a finished product quicker. Also, and this one's important, that compost pile needs to have the temperature monitored because you need to hit a sustained temperature of about 130 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit for at least a week, okay? And what that does is that kills weed seeds, which may have been introduced with the feedstock, and also it kills viruses and pathogens, okay? And we are not so concerned when we're applying compost to a crop like grapes, at, well, let's say wine grapes, because wine grapes are not consumed fresh. So if there were some microbes out there that maybe were not acceptable for some fresh fruit production, um, that's less of a concern for wine grapes because it's a fermented product. But still, we want to kill uh, disease pathogens in addition to those uh, plant disease pathogens, in addition to the pathogens that can harm humans. Um, what compost is not, I think we need to discuss this. If you send me a picture of some raw manure with some straw stuck in it, that's not compost. You can turn it into compost, but that's not compost. And it's not going to have the same stability. And it may be very high in nitrogen with very readily available nitrogen to the plants. It could burn your roots. Be careful. Um, fresh or aged grape pumice. Just because you threw all of your wine waste in a pile for the last three years and it's looking like it's decomposing doesn't mean that that is a finished, aged, um, or, or appropriately produced compost. It is true that you can create compost from what we call a static pile. So instead of that windrow where you're turning with a machine, you could just leave it in a pile. And this is how I do it in my backyard with all of my yard waste and all of my food scraps. I make a static compost pile, but it has to be moved at some point. And then you have to take the outer layers off and really the center and the, and the inside is what gets hot. And that is what I use for compost. But just aging it in a pile and not monitoring temperatures or moisture levels doesn't guarantee you're going to have a good product. And don't use mulch or wood chips or straw or sawdust. That is a, just what it says. It's a mulch. It's usually going to tie up more nitrogen than it is going to have available nitrogen for your soil. So the only time I use mulch or things like that are when I'm trying to use it to control erosion in a site. And I'm just trying to keep the soil in place, but it is not considered a fertilizer in my opinion.